Imagine this. Russia's last remaining Tu-95 bombers, each armed with KH-101 stealth missiles, have already carved a path of annihilation across Ukraine on this month. Entire cities lie in ruins, defenses shattered. But how? The nightmarish truth of how these Cold War beasts slipped through the skies unseen, unleashing hell with surgical precision, will freeze your blood. The question isn't if they struck, but what unholy devastation they left behind. Emerging from the frozen darkness of Arctic bases like Olenya and Engels, Russia's Tupolev Tu-95MS Bear H strategic bombers, Cold War relics first flown in 1952, transform into terrifying instruments of modern warfare. These four-engine turboprop giants, recognizable by their thunderous contra-rotating propellers, carry Russia's most advanced stealth weapon, the KH-101 cruise missile. In June 2025, these aging beasts became central to a desperate game of aerial vengeance. Following Ukraine's audacious Operation Spiderweb drone strikes on June 1st, which crippled at least 13 Russian bombers, including Tu-95s at distant bases like Belaya in Siberia, Moscow's long-range aviation reeled. Satellite imagery revealed burnt-out hulks and analysts confirmed Russia cannot quickly replace these losses with production lines for strategic bombers virtually defunct and modernization stalled. Yet, days later, on June 6, the surviving bears roared back. In a brutal display of retaliation, Russia launched a massive combined strike. Five remaining Tu-95MS bombers and two supersonic Tu-160 blackjacks, each loaded with five Ka-101 missiles, nearly their maximum capacity, lumbered into the air over the Caspian Sea. They unleashed 36 KH-101s, part of a barrage, including over 400 drones and ballistic missiles targeting Ukrainian cities like Lutsk, Chernopil, and Chernihiv, killing civilians and overwhelming defenses. This shift to near-full missile loads, a tactic abandoned for years to preserve airframes, exposed Russia's strained strategic aviation and its chilling reliance on these vintage platforms to project terror deep into Ukraine. This octogenarian bomber is an unlikely apex predator. Its airframe, designed in the early 1950s, has been repeatedly upgraded, particularly the MS variant dedicated to cruise missile operations. Modernized Tu-95 MSM models feature advanced avionics like the Novella NV-1.021 radar, improved NK-12 MPM engines, reducing vibration, and the crucial S-021 navigation system. TS terrifying strength lies in endurance and payload. With a range exceeding 15,000 kilometers unrefueled, it can lurk safely deep within Russian airspace, far from Ukrainian interceptors. Each Bear H carries up to 8 KH-101 missiles externally on quadruple pylons and 6 older Kaak-55 series missiles internally on a rotary launcher. During the June 6th strikes, operating from Saratov airspace, they served as high-altitude, approximately 40,000 feet, mobile launch platforms, effectively invulnerable to all but the most sophisticated Ukrainian defenses during their launch phase. The true terror emanates from the missile itself. The KH-101 is Russia's premier air-launched land attack cruise missile, LACM, designed for precision and evasion, one stealth and low altitude, shaped with radar-absorbent materials and flying nap of the earth as low as 30 to 50 meters. It exploits terrain masking and minimizes radar cross-section, making detection exceedingly difficult. 2. Deadly Range and Payload 
capable of striking targets up to 2,800 miles, 4,500 kilometers away. It delivers an 880-pound, 400 kilograms, high-explosive fragmentation or bunker-busting warhead with devastating effect, as seen in the strikes on Lutsk, where missiles caused significant structural damage and civilian casualties. 3. Advanced Navigation Utilizes Inertial Navigation INS, Terrain Contour Matching TERCOM, and Satellite Guidance GLONASS, for pinpoint accuracy. Its Digital Scene Matching Area Correlator DSMAC allows terminal target recognition, enabling strikes on specific buildings or infrastructure nodes. Fourth, Electronic sophistication, equipped with electronic countermeasures, ECM, to jam defensive systems and, as observed on June 6th, even deploys flares, chaff, to decoy incoming surface-to-air missiles during terminal approach. The Kill Chain From Bear to Apocalypse 1. Launch Safely hundreds of kilometers from the front, the TU-95MS releases the K-101. The missile's small turbofan engine ignites and wings deploy. 2. Stealthy penetration. The missile descends to ultra-low level, skimming valleys and hills. Its stealth features and minimal thermal signature make it a ghost on radar screens. It uses TURCOM to navigate pre-programmed corridors, comparing terrain below with stored maps. Third mid-course guidance, INS and GLONASS updates keep it on track during the long, often hours-long flight across Ukraine. ECM systems actively work to blind or confuse Ukrainian air defense radars. Fourth terminal phase, approaching the target area, the missile may pop up slightly. It activates its terminal seeker, likely electro-optical or radar, and or uses DSMAC for final target discrimination. Videos from the Lutsk attack show missiles emitting countermeasures, flares slash chaff, in this phase attempting to defeat last-ditch interceptions. Five. Impact, the 400-kilogram warhead detonates with catastrophic force. In Lutsk, multi-story buildings were reduced to rubble. Infrastructure targets suffer massive disruption. The fragmentation effect causes widespread secondary damage and casualties. The Grim Reality and Ukraine's Resilience The combination of the TU-95's reach and the KH-101 stealth creates a terrifying threat capable of striking anywhere in Ukraine with little warning. Russia's post-spiderweb strikes demonstrate a willingness to risk its dwindling strategic bomber fleet, overloading them with missiles to maintain offensive pressure. However, Ukraine's air defenses, though strained, proved effective on June 6, shooting down 30 of the 36 KH-101s launched, showcasing the missile system is not invincible. The destruction of bombers on their home fields and the high interception rate underscore that, while the specter of the bear and its stealthy sting is fearsome, it operates under increasing pressure and against a determined, innovative, and well-supported defense. The Arctic ghosts still fly, but their reign of terror faces growing challenges.